we are outside trying to find the position of maximum signal strength. All four signal strength LEDs are on, indicating a very strong downing signal. However, there is an orange LED on also, indicating a problem. It is LED 1, which means we are overloading the downlink. This is because we are too close to the mobile phone operator's mast. The solution is to turn the booster slightly to the left or right until the orange LED goes out and you only have three signal strength LEDs lighting up. In this case, we have an orange LED on. This is LED 2, which indicates a problem with the upload. This might only happen when you are using your mobile phone, so the orange LED light uh, could be flickering on and off. This problem is caused by using a cable that is too short. Always use an RG58 cable that is between 15 and 25 meters long, or an RG213 cable that is 25 to 50 meters long. We were using a 10 meter cable. We have replaced it with a 20 meter cable after the orange LED has gone out, indicating everything is okay again. In this case, one or both orange LEDs are coming on and maybe flickering. If you turn the booster antenna slightly left and right, all LEDs will flicker on and off repeatedly. This indicates a feedback loop has been created between the indoor antenna and the booster. This is caused by having the indoor antenna too close to the booster. The solution is to move the booster and the indoor antenna further apart. Make sure you are using at least 50 meters of RG58 cable to enable you to do this. In a situation where everything looks correct, up and down link are OK, and there is good down and signal strength, but you still have no improvement in indoor coverage, there are two things you need to check. Ask another person to try connect to the 3G network close to the indoor antenna while you are observing the LEDs on the booster. Make sure the orange uplink LED does not flicker on at any stage. This is LED2. If it does, the solution is lengthen the cable. The other possible problem is that there are two operators' masts in the area, and the booster is pointing at the wrong mast. The solution is to rotate the booster until you get another signal peak. If your mobile phone operator is on this mast, you will get excellent indoor coverage.